please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Title, A Comprehensive Guide to Python PsychoPage 2 Cursors Introduction PsychoPage 2 is a popular PostgreSQL adapter for Python, and it provides a flexible and efficient way to interact with PostgreSQL databases. Cursors in PsychoPage 2 play a crucial role in managing database queries and results. This tutorial aims to provide a comprehensive understanding of PsychoPage 2 cursors with practical examples. Table of Contents Installing PsychoPage 2 Before we dive into cursors, make sure to install PsychoPage 2. You can install it using pip. Connecting to PostgreSQL Begin by establishing a connection to your PostgreSQL database. Creating a cursor. Cursors in PsychoPage 2 are used to execute SQL queries and manage the results. There are two main types of cursors, cursor and name to play cursor. Here, we'll use the cursor type. Executing queries. You can execute queries using the cursor's execute method. Fetching results. After executing a query, you can fetch the results using methods like fetchOn, fetchAll, or fetchMany, size. Iterating through results. You can use a loop to iterate through the fetched results. Parameterized queries. To avoid SQL injection, use parameterized queries. Committing changes. After executing insert, update, or delete queries, commit the changes. Closing cursor and connection. Always close the cursor and connection when done. Error handling. Implement error handling to manage exceptions gracefully. Conclusion. Understanding and effectively using PsychoPage 2 cursors is essential for working with PostgreSQL databases in Python. This tutorial has covered the basics of creating a connection, creating a cursor, executing queries, fetching results, and managing transactions. With this knowledge, you can confidently interact with PostgreSQL databases using PsychoPage 2 in your Python applications. ChatGPT